الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لبتذم من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله بيالا سبحانه وتعالى increase in all of us knowledge assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh nice to see you brothers and sisters i have written on the board uh, the things that we have been studying for the past uh, three days now uh, inshallah uh, we on monday we studied love then we went on to study uh, talab and jawabu talab and I, at that time, explained to you a little bit of conditional sentence, that you can insert a conditional sentence in it. And then uh, we studied the uh, iza and then the other instruments of shat. Uh, if we try to summarize it, brothers and sisters, advatu shat is either jazimun or it is Gair Jasim. If it is Jasimun, then it will make the Fialo Shart Majizum and it will make the Jawabu Shart Majizum. Tajizimu Fialaini. Tajizimu Fialaini. Are you with me? So that's the two group, brother. Now, Gairu Jasimin, we studied love. That is a condition in the past but unfulfilled. And it is particle. And what is Iza, which is actually a Zarf, so it is a Ism. Huh? And Iza is also Gair Jasimin. It does not affect the verb. Okay? With the Iza, most of the time the verb will be Mahdi, and you will translate that verb into future, huh? inshallah. And the same goes with In also, and Man also. Now, the instruments of condition, which are jazimun, you know, there is only one harf we have studied, and that is in. Right? So you'll remember. The rest of them are isms. Now, mind you, brothers and sisters, Dr. Abdurrahim only tries to explain us things which are common in the Quran, which are frequently used in the Quran. Things which are rarely used, he is not touching. Because there is no point at this stage for us to learn things which are not used, you know, often. So there are other instruments of shart, but they are not commonly used. When you will study on your own something in detail, all these things in detail, then you will come across other uh, Harf plus ism. You will come across them. But for our study in book three, these are the common 
uh, instruments of shirt, you know. Most important of them are what we are studying. Brothers and sisters, so when you come to N, there will have two verbs in the sentence which will be majizum. Are you with me? Okay. If they are majizum, I would say they are in their original state. Huh? In tazhab ila suk azhab. So both are majizum in its original state. You know. Now if they are not in this original state, and if they are madi, or if a sentence is coming, then what will you say? Fi mahali jasmin. That's all. That's all there is to know. Fi mahali jasmin. If if after inna or man, the verb is madi, then we will say it is fi mahali jasmin. That's all. There is to know. Huh? It's not confusing. Yesterday it was kind of uh, overwhelming. So I asked some of you and you said you are not 100% comfortable. But today, inshallah, you will become 110% comfortable. Inshallah. Uh, with the mercy and grace of Allah. Allah will make it easy for us, inshallah. So is this a little bit more clear now? Huh? Sister Nasri? Okay. Now, as I said, that uh, uh, if the verbs are not majzoom in its original state, uh, then we will say, fi mahali jazmi, khalas. And remember, whenever fa will come for jawab shart, it means the fail is not majzoom. Hmm? Fa has come. So fa has come, that will result Either a jawabu shart coming as a jumla ismiya or it will come as a jumla failure. That's all. Now, if it is jumla failure and if that verb is majzoom there in the jumla failure, it is not in its original state. It is because either it is amar or lamu amar or la nahiya. That is the reason they are majzoom. Uh, and in that situation, we will also say, Fi mahali jasmin. Just remember that, inshallah. So when we do the exercise, we are going to analyze it. And inshallah, you will inshallah, feel comfortable. And you don't have to write. You will be able to say it, inshallah. Uh, now, uh, we finished the main lesson yesterday. Ajib anil as'ilatil atiyati. I can leave this for you to do it at home. Inshallah, brothers and sisters. Okay. Now, we come to something which is also very simple. Yakunu shartu wa jawab. The shart and the jawab. Brothers and sisters, again I want to draw your attention. When you say shart, Sister Abza, are you with me? When you say shart, it means adatu shart and fail shart. Are you with me? When you say shart, sister Madina, it means adatu shart and fail shart. Huh? Okay? And then jawab. Huh? Shart and jawab shart. So when you talk about shart, it means there is an instrument of shart and there is a fail shart. Huh? Inshallah. Keep that in mind. Now, Two kinds of verbs, brothers and sisters. Madi and Mutariya. Okay? So, what will be the shart and jawabu shart in relation to the verbs? Number one, Imma, either, Mudariyaini. Are you with me? Right there, in the book. In the book, brothers and sisters, do you see? Emma Mudariaini. It means, what is the meaning of Mudariaini? To means Fialushart and Jawabushart. They will both be Mudariya. 
And, okay? That is most of the time. Now, if they are mudariya, then they will be majizum. Are you with me? They will be majizum. Huh? Okay? See, the verse from the Quran, in ta'udu na'ud. Are they majizum? Yes. Are they mudariya? Of course. Only mudariya is majizum. <coughs> Mahdi is mabni. Okay, fine. Imma madiyaini. Eh? Imma, either, it is, both are madi. Eh? Okay. In odtum, odna. What is the meaning of odtum, odna? The meaning is same as in ta'udu, na'udu. Eh? Again, the meaning of madi changes into future tense. Are you with me? The meaning of Mahdi will change into future tense. Because Brother Hassan is a and everything here will relate to present and future. Only love will go to the past. The others, whether the verb is Mudariya or whether the verb is Mahdi, eh? the Mudariya of course relates to present and future. But if it is Mahdi, with these instruments of shart, the translation will be present and future. So, can you see the second one? Imma Mahdi Yaini. They can be both Mahdi. How will you translate? In present tense. Huh? Sister Hafsa? Sister uh, Mahanas? You will translate it? Present tense. So it's, do not get confused, brother. Huh? Inshallah, you will see the sentence and you will figure out. Number third. Himma Madian. The Madian has come first. That means the fellow shart can be Madi. Are you with me? Vafa Mudariya. And that means the Jawabu shart is Mudariya. Not that, yeah. huh? Okay. I go back to number two. Imma Mahdi Yaini. If they are both Mahdi, how will you describe them? Fi Mahali Jasmin. Are you with me? Fi Mahali Jasmin. Very good. Now, in the third, Imma Mahdi Yan, then you will say Fi Mahali Jasmin. Fa Mudariyan. And that will be Majzum. See here, Man Kana Yuridu Harthal Akhirati. Huh? Who is soever wants the, the, the harvest in the Akhirah? Okay? You want to do good deeds. And you tell Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I'm doing this to please you. Huh? Okay? Because I want my Akhirah to be, to be better. You know, dunya, alhamdulillah, whatever you give me, Alhamdulillah, I'm grateful to you, but I want the Akhira to be better. So, if we desire Akhira, Allah will increase it. Our benefits in Akhira. So, look at it. Man kana yuridu harthal akhirati nazid lahu. Nazid. Zada yazidu. Are you with me? Zada Yazidu, five in your pocket. Yazidu, tazidu, tazidu, azidu, nazidu. Make it majzum, nazid. Huh? Where is the file? Mustatir. Takdiruhu, nahnu. And where does nahnu, nahnu go to? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nazid lahu fi harfihi. Are you with me? So, first was kana. What was the first verb? Kana. Mahdi. And then Nazid Mudariya. Huh? So Kana will be Fi Mahali Jasmine. And Nazid is normal. Majizum. Huh? Imma Mudariyan. First it will be Mudariya. Huh? Fa Mahdiyan. And then it will be Mahdi. Huh? This is a hadith. Kawalu Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Brothers and sisters. Man yakum, 
Yakum. See? Kama Yakumu. It became Yakum. Whosoever stands or prays or establishes Laylat al Kadri. Huh? Brothers and sisters? Laylat al Kadri. Huh? Imanan. Wa ihtisaban. Whosoever prays, stands up and prays uh, with faith, with the desire to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay? Uh, brother and sister, ihtisaba is to ask for khair from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, ihtisaba means in the lahi khairan. In the lahi khairan. Uh, that we desire from Allah, with Allah, khair, inshallah. Huh? Huh? In other words, we seek Allah's pleasure. Huh? Seeking Allah's pleasure. Anticipating Allah's pleasure. Huh? When you pray, you stand up and you pray, you hope for Allah's pleasure. You anticipate His pleasure and mercy and grace. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. So, Gufira Allahu. Yeah? Allah forgives him. He is forgiven. Are you with me? So, Gufira is Mahdi. And Yakum is Mudarya. So, that is also possible. Bahada Kalilun. But this is not often. It is rare. Now, what is the gist of all this? Brother, the gist is this, that in the jawab shart and in the shart, with fialu shart, let me phrase it in a different way. If the fialu shart and jawab shart, if they are mudariya, they will be majizum. Otherwise, if they are madi, what will you say? Fi mahali jasmin. That's all, brother. That's all. So whenever shart will come, we are going to look for fialu shart and jawabu shart. If the fialu shart and jawabu shart are majizum in its natural state, fine. They are good, brother. If they are madi, then we'll say fi mahali jasmine. So you will be watching this, huh? inshallah. Now, brothers and sisters, we come to the exercises. They are very simple, very interesting. I should say they are halwa puri. They are very, very uh, easy and enjoyable. Huh? Okay. Fi kulli fitratin. What is the meaning of fitratin? Part or section. Huh? Part or section. Hmm? Or even you can say passage. Fi kulli fitratin. Mimma yati jumlatani. There are two sentences. Ej eh? al make fial al ula shartan. Make the first verb as a fial u shart. Wa fial al ukhra jawabahu. And the other one jawabahu. Musta milan means using. What will you use? N. So all the exercises are in. Now we are going to do it quickly. Huh? I request you that during the weekend, please write it. This lesson should be written. All the exercises should be written. Then inshallah you will become very strong. Huh? Then we, when we study Quran, you will be able to enjoy it. And, and taste the eloquence and the magic and the sweetness of the words of Quran. Tadribuni adribuka. Sister Hafza? In? In tadribni. Khalas, but it's so simple. In tadribni adribka. Khalas? Adribka. Are the two fields in its normal state of majizum? Yes, khalas. They are both majizum. Huh? So one is fialu shart, the other is 
جواب ہو شاید گاڈ دا آئیڈیا اینڈ یو کین ڈسکرائب اٹ اوکے ان حرف و شرط جازم تجزیم فیلائن یو ول آلویز سی لائک دیٹ اینڈ دین یو ول سی تدرب فیل مدار مجزم بھی سکون اینڈ اٹ از یور فیل و شرط فائل مستطر تقدیر ہوں انتا واٹ از نون نون وکھایا نون آف پروٹیکشن اٹ پروٹیکٹ دا ورڈ بیکاز دیر واز نو نون دین دا یا متکلم ول گیو کسرا ٹو دا ورڈ اینڈ دین دا ورڈ ول بی روئن بیکاز ورڈ کے ناٹ ہیو اے کسرا ایٹ دی اینڈ اوکے سو یا متکلم از مفلون بی اینڈ دین ادرب فیر ان مدار مجزم بھی سکون فائل مستطر تقدیر ہو انا اینڈ واٹ از دس ناؤ جواب و شرط خلاص کا مفول بھی سو ایوری تھنگ یو ول ایکسپلین لائک دس ان شاء اللہ اف یو ہٹ می آئی ول ہٹ یو اف یو ڈونٹ ہٹ می آئی وونٹ ہٹ یو بٹ اف یو ہٹ می آئی ول ہٹ یو اوکے نمبر ٹو بٹ اونلی ان نتھنگ ایلس سو دے آر ویری سمپل ہاؤ ول یو سی سی سو خائنا دا نیکسٹ ون ندخل الجن آر بوت دا فیل مجزم یس ان اٹس نیچرل اسٹیٹ آفٹر ان نا سو وے از دا فیل شرط نارمل ان شاء اللہ اینڈ واٹ از سالحن دیٹ از یور مفول ان بھی اور یو کین ایون سی دس از یور مفول ان مطلق بیکاز نارمل امل ان سالحن اوکے ڈونٹ وری وی ڈونٹ گو ان دیٹ مچ ڈیٹیل نہ دخول دیٹ از یور جواب اشا از اٹ مچ زوم فائن یو ول ایبل ٹو فگر آؤٹ ان شاء اللہ اینڈ رائٹ اٹ لیٹ می ٹیل یو ون مور ٹائم ان حرف شرطن چازم تجزیم فی الائن اوکے اف یو آر ٹو رائٹ دس ان اے ڈیٹیل گرامیٹیکل اینالسس اینڈ اف یو ور ٹو سپوز ٹو گیو این ایگزامینیشن دین یو ول سی ان حرفو شرط جازم تجزیم فیلائن نام فیل و شرط مجزوم فیل مداریا مجزوم و علامت جزمی ہی سکون فائل مستطر تقدیر ہو نحن صالحن You can say mafulun mutlaq or even if you say mafulun bi for the time being, it's okay. Nadukhul, huh? what will you say? Nadukhul, jawab ushar. Is it normal? Yes, it is normal. Huh? In its natural state. Huh? File, where is the file? Mustatir, takdiruhu, nahnu. What is jannata? Mafulun bi. Got the idea? All of them are like that. Inshallah. The sister Naima, if we do good deeds, we will enter Jannah. Huh? But there is a condition. You got to do good deeds. Huh? Okay? You can't enter Jannah because somebody promised you something and you think you will enter Jannah and you haven't done good deeds. No. Condition is you got to do good deeds. And this is where, brothers and sisters, I always think about this. I always, always, always think about this. And this is, Allah is saying, فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِفْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرٍ يَرَى Whosoever does an atom's weight of good deeds, he will see it there. وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِفْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرَّيْ يَرَى And whosoever has done an atom's weight of evil, will it be forgotten? No, but it's all written down. Allah has the record of everything. He will see it. Okay? So we've got to be very careful. Everything is being written down. And Allah will show us all these things. Okay? Can you imagine doing a good deed which is so tiny it is equal to 
the weight of an atom, you will see it. And you have done something wrong, you will see it. So we got to do good deeds in order to enter Jannah. That is most important. Okay? That is a condition. Sister Naima, number three. Tamrad. Both are normal. Majizum. Fialu shart, jawabu shart. Fine. Translation. If you eat rotten, spoiled food, huh? you'll get sick. You'll become sick. Are you with me? Fine. Okay. Sister Fatima. In la. So you, la can come. This is la. Nafia. In la. Tashtahid. Huh? You'll have to make it majzu. Huh? In la. Tashtahid. Tar sub. Huh? Translation. If you don't work hard, you will fail. What is it? If you don't work hard, you will fail. You think you can pass without working hard? No, brother. We are only fooling ourselves. Huh? Okay, so in Sister Fatima, Harfu Shart, Jazimun, Tajizimu Fialaini, La, La, and Nafia. Huh? Okay? Mabni ala sukun. Huh? La is mabni ala sukun. Where is sukun? I said mabni ala sukun. Where is the sukun? I said la an nafia mabni ala sukun. Where is the sukun? <laughs> right here. Are you with me, brother and sister? Huh? The fatah is on lam. Okay, Mabnun ala sukun. Okay, and it has got no place in the era. La mahal lahu min era or fil era. Are you with me? You will come across this expression. La mahal laha or lahu fil era. Means it has got no position. It is not uh, fa'il or mafulun bi or anything. Yeah? It is just a particle. Huh? Ah, inshallah, I will, I will uh, write it down for you. La mahalla. Write it down, okay? Since you are interested in writing down. Huh? La. Harfu. Harfu nafi. Mabniyun ala. Mabniyun ala. Sukun. Are you? La. Mahalla. What is this? La mahalla. La nafiyatu lil jins. It has got absolutely, absolutely, absolutely no position eh? in the era. La mahal. Eh? Laha. Era. Are you with me? So there are many things you will write like this. Huh? What does it really mean? It's not complicated. It's very simple. Sister Mamuna, all it means, you know, that it is not a file, not a mafulun bihi, not a madi, because we describe them. It has not, no position in the air. Huh? It is just a particle. Are you with me? Okay. No grammatical value in the era. Huh? Okay? So then, Tashtahid. Sister Fatima, how will you describe Tashtahid? Fenun mudarion, majzumun, walamatu jazmi, sukun. Wahua, fialu shart. What will you say? Wahua, fialu shart. And where is the file? What will you say? Fa'iluhu, damirun, mustathirun, takdiruhu, anta. Huh? Fine. Tarsub, Felun mudarion, majzumun bisukun. Failuhu, mustatir. Takdiruhu, anta. Wahua, jawabusha. Then you will say it is a jawabusha. That's all. Okay. Now, Sister Sumaya, number four, five. In tusa, firi. 
او اللي سي تسافري فيلون مداريون مجزومون بي هذا في هذا في نون بي هذا في نون ار يو وذ مي بي هذا في نون يو هاد تو دروب ذا نون ان اوردر تو ميك ات مجزوم اوكي سو تساف فيرينا ويل بيكم تسافري sister uh, uh, so yeah you got it sister alhamdulillah see i am so happy when you are understanding well and you can analyze it and you can write it and you can make the proper changes which are required huh? so in tusafiri usafir translation if you travel i will travel huh? got the idea inshallah Sister Mehras, number six. No, Bakiran. No, Bakiran. No, Bakiran. Got the idea? See, you, you are now using a conditional. You are making a conditional sentence. You are making now a conditional sentence by using in. So again, you will say in. حرف الشرط جازم تجزم فعلين ان تنم فعل مضارع مجزوم بسكون فاعل مستتر تقديره انت وهو فعل الشرط what is مبكرا حال حال are you with me حال تستيقظ فعل مضارع مجزوم بسكون وهو جواب الشرط فائل مستطر تقديره انت ان مبكرا حال ان شاء الله سيستر نشرين اها اها ما شاء الله سي يو جوت ات ناو ها ناو يو انالايز ات وات ويل يو سي ان شرط جازم تجزم فعلين تجزم فعلين فاين And what will you describe? Taktubu. Yes. Mashallah. Where is the file? Wow. Then what will you say? Wahuwa. Fialu shart. Ilayya. What is ilayya? Char majur. Only char majur. Fine. And then. Aktub. Majum bisukum. وهو جواب الشرط and file is مستتر تقديره انا اليكم جار مجر ما شاء الله you got it الحمد لله sister maimuna yeah you are right now the jawab yes ha tafut fata yafutu like kala yakulu you say yakul so you will say yafut ha yafut yafut ka Are you see? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Tafut ka. Tagib. No, they'll be no ya. Huh? They'll be no ya. Huh? See, tagib. This is tagibu. Huh, sister? Maimuna, you got to make it much zoom. How do I make it much zoom? Okay, what is madi, gaba, yagibu, huh? Yagibu, tagibu. You make it sukun here. Now there are two sukuns, so we got to drop this. Are you with me? So you will say in tagib. Now this is 
Fehrun, Mudariun, Majzumun, Bisukun. Got the idea? And then, Tafutka. Okay, Fat. Yes. Tafutka Durus. Yes. Fata Yafuku, Tafut. Are you with me? Ta okay. Jazakala. Tafutka Durus. Huh? G? Yes, sir. Uh, Mayna chahi? Mayna bhot khusurat mayna. If you remain absent a lot, uh, the, the, the dars will miss you. <laughs> you won't miss the dars. <laughs> but dars, the durus, the lessons will miss you. No, that is not the way we translate. We will translate, if you remain absent a lot, you will miss a lot of lessons. Are you with me? That is the way, huh? Inshallah. Sister Aisha? Yeah. In Tabi, Sayara, Taka. Mafulun bi. Sayara, Taka. Translation? Yeah, that's the way. If you sell your car, I'll buy it. Huh? In Tabi, Sayara, Taka. Huh? And then, Ashtari. I will buy it. Huh? Okay. So now, do you see they are both normal? Huh? We are not saying female judgment. Okay. Now I'll move faster. Huh? Sister uh, Maria, you got a nice sentence. Be careful. In in Tabakaya. Huh? Mashallah. Fi Makka Abka without ya. Huh? Mahakuma. Now you uh, try to analyze it. Huh? Tab kaya. How will you analyze tab kaya? Fehlun, mudarion, majzumun, bi hazfi nun. Uh, where is the file? Aliful musanna. Huh? Mashallah. Means if you two remain in Makkah, I will remain with you two. Huh? Abka will be Felun, Mudarion, Majzumun, B, Hazfi, Harfi, Allah. Huh? Alhamdulillah. Very good. Nusrat, In La, Aktub, Ansa. Translation. No, Aktub is I. What will you say? If I don't write, I will forget. How many times we say in English, if I don't write, I forget. How will you say in Arabic? In La Aktub Ansa. So both are Majizun. Huh? Alhamdulillah. So analyze it. In Harfu Shart, Jazimun, Tajizimu Fi Alaini, and La Harfu Nafi, Harfu Nafi, Mabnun Allah Sukun. Oh no, this is a detail. Huh? This is a detail. Huh? Okay, and la mahal laha min al arab. Okay, and then you will say aktub, huh? Felun mudariyun majzumun bi sukun. And then what will you say? Failuhu mustati takdiruhu anta ana. Takdiruhu takdiruhu ana. Wahua felun shar. And then ansa felun mudariyun majzumun. Bihazfi harfi illa Failuhu mustatir takdiruhu ana Wahuwa jawabu shad Got the idea? And the translation will be Sister Naima If I don't write I will forget Is it clear inshallah brothers and sisters? Now Sister Nasreen This detailed analysis You don't have to write it But if you have time You can don't, you know, bent on writing it, everything in detail. Because uh, there are certain things you write a couple of times, and inshallah you will remember it. Huh? 
Okay. When the time comes for you to write in detail or to say it in detail, inshallah you will be able to do it. Huh? Inshallah. And with practice, uh, it will come. And Sister Nasri, the best way to remember it all the time, you know what is the best way? To stand up and teach others. What did I say? To stand up and teach others. When you will stand up and share your knowledge with others, what will happen? Allah will increase your knowledge. You will become stronger and stronger. And the benefits will spread to everybody, inshallah. And eventually, Allah will be pleased with our efforts and sacrifices, inshallah. Because only by teaching the language of the Quran, we will bring people closer to the Quran. There is no other way, brother. You can only come closer to the Quran when you understand the Quran and when you are able to ponder over it. Otherwise, it will fly over you. Huh? So, inshallah, I am hoping that most of you, most of you will stand up and teach in your uh, circle of relatives or friends, in neighborhood, inshallah. Even if you have five dedicated students, it's worth it. Even if there are two dedicated students who are willing to learn, it's worth the effort, inshallah. Sister uh, uh, Madina. Uh, ah, this is very easy. In Tasum Asum. Translation. Alphas. Huh? Are you with me? Inshallah, you'll be able to analyze it. Huh? In Tasum Gadan. You want to analyze it? Analyze it. Yes. Majuzumun. Bisukun. Zar. Asum. Majuzum. Bisukun. But Jawabushat. And the first one you will say, Fialushat. And the fire in both the case, Mustatir. Right? Inshallah. So whenever we describe fial, we must describe fire. We got to describe fire, especially if it is mustatir. Otherwise, the description will come down the road, inshallah. Right? Sister uh, Rahima? Yes. Translation. Yes. You, you yes, mashallah, mashallah. Huh? If you say the truth, you'll you'll be successful. You'll always be safe. Huh? Okay, inshallah. So now you want to say it? You say it, Sister Rahima. Describe it. Huh? No, in say it, say it. Huh? Yes. Tajzimu fi'alaini. Fi'alun mudariyun. Majzumun. Bisukun. Fa'il. Mustatir. Takdiruhu. Anta. Wa huwa fi'alu shart. And what is al-haqqa? Maful'un bihi mansub. And tanju. Be hazfi harfi illa. Be hazfi harfi illa. Where is the file? Mustatir takdiruhu anta. Wa huwa jawabush. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Is it clear now? All of you, 100% making sense now? Huh? Brother Haider Ali? Inshallah? Huh? Brother Hassan? Huh? Brother Muhammad? It making sense now, inshallah. Huh? All of you, inshallah. Okay. Now, uh, Sister Gulshan, in Tazurni, how will you say? In Tazurni. Huh? Tazuruni will become in Tazurni. 
In tazurni. And then what will be the jawab? Azurka. Azuru will become Azurka. Got the idea? Inshallah, I'll say it quickly. In harfu shart chazimun tajzimu fi'alaini tazur fi'alun mudariun majzumun bi sukun fa'al mustatir takdiruhu anta wa huwa fi'alu shart and noon noonu vikaya okay la mahal noonu vikaya la mahal lahu min al arab okay and ya mafulun bihi okay mansu huh? Fine. If you want to describe ya in detail, ya, are you listening? Damirun, muttasilun, mabniun ala, sukun, fi mahali, nasbin, mafurun bi. If you want to say. Huh? But if you don't say, it's okay. Huh? Inshallah, I have a feeling you, you would love to say it later on. Huh? Once we have a little control over uh, all these expressions. Huh? Fine. Azur, Fairon Mudarion, Majuzumun bi Sukun, Fail Mustatir, Takdiruhu, Ana, Wahua, Chawabusha. And what is Ka? Damirun, Mutasilun, Mabunun Allah, Fatafi, Mahali, Nasubin, Pahulun. Are you with me? Inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters.